guys and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm super excited. Today I'm doing a video collab with uh, Michelle uh, from My Everyday Wife Life. I will put her link down below. Uh, we are doing a Winnie the Pooh collaboration. <laughs> I love it because it's completely out of the box and it's just something you wouldn't expect. But we both have some serious Winnie the Pooh items and collections so we want to share them off and I recently did something pretty big in my room hint hint and uh, I want to show you guys and and talk about it so that's what we're going to do so first before we jump into it if you are coming from Michelle's channel make sure you click that subscribe button I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family we have tons of fun I have tons of content coming up lots to look at um, but for right now Let's check out some Winnie the Pooh stuff. Okay, so basically it starts as soon as you enter my office. So this is the door to my office. And then I've got some decals up on the wall. Now these are actually given to me by my sister. And these are for our nursery. Um, for those of you that are new, we were pregnant with twins. And we lost them at 19 weeks gestation. Um, I do have a whole playlist I will link um, here for you if you want to check that out. But um, even though we did lose the twins, we still wanted to use the decals. So they are up. It's pretty much there and then right there. This is my Winnie the Pooh mosaic puzzle. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can here. Too fuzzy. It's hard to see, but each piece is of a different film reel of one of the movies or shows. So, yeah, I, I did this many years ago, um, and uh, I love it. I actually have a few more I want to do. Um, I do want to get a new frame and stuff and, and do all that, but yeah, so that's there. And then moving over, I've got this is a Winnie the Pooh clock. And this is actually from my husband's old workplace. Pooh does swing, but I have trouble keeping him swinging. <laughs> uh, but I've got that. And then this is actually something we had kept in our car. Um, and now that we don't have a car, I just put it in here for the day we do have a car. So I'll give you a close-up of the, of the light, or the clock. And then I've just got a little... Um, canvas there with Winnie the Pooh and then moving over I have this coca-cola shelf that my husband also got me from where he used to work and um, obviously I don't have the bottles there's dates and you put the bottle to that date and I don't have them I don't know if I'll ever have them so I just decided to use it as a shelf a regular shelf so get a little closer First thing up here, I have a little poo. He's actually meant for a planter, which I don't have, but he's just kind of hanging out there. And then I've got this frame. Uh, I am going to be putting probably an ultrasound picture in there. And then just a uh, poo by himself. And then down here, these are actually bath toys. Um, and a friend got me an old friend got me these uh, from the Disney store. Um, obviously I'm not going to use them as bath toys, but um, they actually mean a lot to me. And I do have Tigger, but I, I don't know where he is right now. So, And then down here is a really cute kind of wall plaque thing. And it says, together is our favorite way to be. So, there you go. Um, yeah. So, kind of give you an overview of that. And then, of course, we're in the window. <laughs> um, but these curtains were a huge find for me. Um, I actually found this at uh, a thrift store. Um, awesome condition. They look like they're homemade. Um, the only problem was it was technically just one panel. So what I did was I hung it up and then I just literally cut it up the middle 
and pulled it to the side and I think it looks great. I'm sorry, it's hard to see. There you go, you can see that side. And then here is, so this is the latch hook. It's a rug latch hook kit. You can kind of see. Um, I used to love doing these and I did this one years ago. Um, I wish I could find more, but alas, I cannot. And I just forgot, I have one of the large, um, I think they're mum mum poos, I think is what they're called. And then over here, I have just a Winnie the Pooh, he's just a foam wall thing. <laughs> Um, and then I've got this Eeyore cross stitch. There is a Tigger one, but I don't know where he went. Oh, I see him. I'm sure a cat had something to do with that, but there's Eeyore. And now the uh, piece de resistance. <laughs> um, this is my pride and joy right here. Yeah. So first off, we installed these shelves and I decided I wanted to paint them Winnie the Pooh colors. So the first shelf is pink for Piglet and then this is the Pooh color. This is Eeyore, that's kind of the closest I could really get. Um, Tigger and then the red I actually pulled from the curtain so that it would all kind of groove together. But at the very, very top, I've got the the authentic Disney store Tigger. And then here you'll see I actually have three mosaic puzzles I have to do. And then here I've got all of the Pez dispensers. So we've got Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Roo, Eeyore, and a Heffalump. And I don't know if there's any more. Let me know if you guys know or not, because I don't know. And then this is a uh, piggy bank that I found at a thrift store. Awesome shape and I love it. It's just poo with a honey pot, which of course is his favorite thing. Um, this is a old mug and spoon set that I've had for a very long time. And then Eeyore. This is the Disney Store Authentic uh, Eeyore. And then down here, I just have a little random poo. <laughs> um, and then I have this, which is actually one of the, I think they're called, it's not 3D puzzles, but this was a puzzle. You can kind of see there um, that I put together. And it is poo, and he has his honey pot. And then these are the birthstone poos. So this one is mine, it's June. And then this one is Dan's, which is April. And I just think they're adorable. And then back here, um, I just have a plate that again, my husband had gotten me last year from work. Um, and I just having a honey of a time. This uh, I had gotten a long time ago, actually. It's uh, one of the Disney Showcase collections. Um, and this is Honey of a Bear. It's the Disney Traditions. And it's the only one I have, but I hope to get more in the future. And then this is a little, um, I think they're called Mum Mums. Or Sum Sums. That's what it is. It's just Eeyore. Because um, I love Eeyore. And this is something Dan had actually gotten for the twins for the nursery. And again, something I keep to make me think of them. But it's just a little baby with the Eeyore ears. And he's got a little block. And then he's on a blanket that says, Some days look better upside down. <laughs> and I think it's adorable. And then this poo is my pink poo. Again, it's the Disney Store Authentic. Um, I don't even know if they make these anymore. But I remember when I got this with my mom, I was so excited because I'm obsessed with pink and I think he's one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite poos. And then moving down here, I have a mini tea set. I'm actually missing one of the saucers. I'm kind of bummed about that. 
And then this I had gotten for my birthday one year, I believe. And then this is the authentic Disney Store Poo and Piglet. And then I have this. The, it's the, obviously J for Jen. And it's got Eeyore on it, which I think is so appropriate. I got that years ago. And then this is just a plate that I have collected. And then these are just um, little figurines um, that I have. And a stuffed Eeyore. Um, I actually found him at a thrift store. But I thought he was so cute. So I got him. And then down here on the bottom shelf, we have a um, Tigger photo frame. Again, I have to put photos yet. I just have to decide what I want. But he's also authentic Disney store. This is just a little poo bank. It's just kind of cute. It's nothing. I think it's from the that little cartoon they used to have on. And then in the back, I have my poo mug collection. And I'm always looking for more, and I can't find any more lately, but you'll notice there's, like, no Eeyore, and I know Michelle has an Eeyore mug, so I'm determined to find one here, too. <laughs> and then right in front of that, I actually have a wooden train, and this was also given to me by my sister for the twins, and the idea is because my husband is obsessed with trains, and we were going to paint it Winnie the Pooh colors, and that's still our plan, we just haven't gotten to it, so... Right now, we just have these, like, little plastic poos <laughs> on there. And then, again, I've got another poo frame. I actually really like this frame. Um, I'll probably put ultrasound pictures in them, um, to be totally honest. But, yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. It's hard for me to get it all in, but that's what that looks like. And that is it. So that's it for my Winnie the Pooh collection. I may have more stuff hidden around here, I'll be honest, but I don't know where it is and I think this is pretty much it. We actually recently, um, I'm doing also a decluttering series with Michelle and I will link that here, but um, in doing that in one of my videos that I'm not sure is even up yet, but um, I actually found a bunch of my Pooh stuff. So you just never know when you're going to find more. but. I'm always on the hunt, always, always, always on the hunt for different things that I can find, and always at thrift stores, um, but I'm anxious to do the other puzzles, because I want to get them all framed and put them somewhere. I'm running out of room. I need more walls. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for all of your support. Again, if you're coming from Michelle's, I would love to have you subscribe. So just hit that red subscribe button and you won't miss anything. And uh, thank you guys so much. And if you haven't already checked out Michelle's channel, get on over there. What are you waiting for? She's awesome. She's crafty. She's gung-ho. She's phenomenal. I love Michelle. She is just amazing. She's so inspiring and motiv motivational. Even if she doesn't know it, she is she's great so definitely go check her out all right that's it for me so thank you guys again and i will see you next time bye